Sometimes the old ways are the best. That's certainly the case with the Gephardt air defense system. This anti-aircraft weapon was developed decades ago, but still represents some of the most trusted weaponry when it comes to defending land from aerial threats. It's proof that effective engineering can stand the test of time and become a staple of the battlefield, even at the fast-paced way it's moving. Let's take a closer look at the Gephardt Air Defense System. The Gepard, aka German for Cheetah, is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun that was developed in the 1960s as a private venture. In 1966, the Germans needed a replacement for the M42 gun, which was already obsolete. Its prototypes were built in 1968, and it entered military service with the Bundeswehr in 1973, known as the Flakpanzer I Gepard. A total of a massive 420 of these vehicles were built for the German Army. Its role is to protect combat units, troops, and key installations against air attacks. Its radar, which is used to lock onto targets, is thought to be so accurate that it can lock onto birds. To take out its target, the Gepard is fitted with a two-man electric power-operated turret armed with twin Erlikon KDA 35mm guns. The guns work with an automatic belt feed and each barrel length is 90 calibers or 3,150 millimeters. The rate of fire with the two barrels is 1,100 rounds a minute. Each 35 millimeter gun has 320 rounds of ready-to-fire anti-air ammunition and 20 rounds of anti-ground target ammunition. The guns are able to fire a range of standardized 35 millimeter ammunition including the new frangible armor-piercing discarding Sabo or FAPDS rounds. These rounds have a muzzle velocity greater than 1,400 meters a second. The Gephardt is also equipped with eight smoke dischargers installed on either side of the turret. Current Gephardt engineers, KMW, developed a missile system for the vehicle using the Stinger surface-to-air missile system. The twin Stinger launching system was fitted onto the side of the 35mm twin gun on a single unit. The system was tested but was not deployed due to financial constraints. The system has a digital fire control computer supplied by European Aeronautic Defense in Space. The miniaturized digital computer uses 32-bit Motorola 68020 microprocessors, single-board computers with dedicated arithmetic coprocessors, and a command, control, and communications interface. All the data handled by the fire control system is related to the fixed vehicle coordinate system. But it's the radar that's the real strength of this weapon system. The Gephardt has independent search and tracking radars. The search radar is installed at the front rear of the turret, and the tracking radar is on the rear front of the turret. The radars give 360-degree scanning with simultaneous target tracking, clutter suppression, search-on-the-move capability, and monopulse tracking mode. The S-band search radar installed on the original version of the Gephardt has a range of 15 kilometers and subclutter visibility of 60 decibels. The vehicle's design is based on the tracked armored chassis of the Leopard 1 main battle tank. The significant difference is the original turret is removed and replaced by a two-man anti-aircraft gun system. It is operated by a crew of three, including a driver, commander, and gunner. The driver is seated at the front of the hull, on the right side, the turret is mounted in the center of the hull, with the commander seated on the left and the gunner on the right. The turret and the hull of the Gephardt are of all welded steel construction to give protection against the firing of small arms and artillery shell splinters. This air defense system is powered by an MTU MB838CAM500 10-cylinder multi-fuel engine giving 830 horsepower at 2200 RPM. It has the same suspension and tracks as the Leopard 1 that it's based on, which has seven dual light metal rubber-tired road wheels with the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and four track return rollers on either side. It can climb a gradient of 60% and a vertical obstacle of 1.15 meters. If needed, the Gephardt can cross a trench of 3 meters and has a fording depth of 2.5 meters. 
the weapon has proved to be highly popular worldwide. In February 2022, it was announced that parent company KMW would deliver 50 decommissioned Gephard anti-aircraft tracked armored vehicles to Ukraine as part of Russian countermeasures following the invasion by Russia. This anti-aircraft weapon is currently also in service with Germany, Brazil, Chile, Jordan, Romania, and the Netherlands. There have also been several more deliveries of Gephard units to Ukraine following the initial support package. All of this shows that, despite the fact that this weapon was designed in the 60s, it's still one of the most reliable anti-aircraft vehicles available worldwide. What do you think about the Gepard? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.